Fan Xinxin to come and give remarks on behalf of the judges. Contestants, you should get a start to get excited now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not releasing the marks, only the remarks. So on behalf of the five judges, I'd like to extend my sincere congratulations to all of the participants uh, participating in today's uh, the fourth university's uh, Chinese Bridge competition. Uh, what did you do this morning? What did you do the first thing? Is that the speed contest? No, of course, no. Uh, probably most of the audience haven't uh, aware yet. The first contest they have been doing is the knowledge contest. I hope you all participate in that. So it's a contest, uh, it's a written contest on China, Chinese language, culture, literature, history, uh, social study. Uh, I just checked the, uh, some of the questions. For example, the question, some of the questions asking, is Cixi the only empress in Chinese history? What did you answer? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those things like that, or for example, uh, names uh, some of the Chinese web services. I'm not sure how many you, you've been using in your daily life. QQ, yeah, someone's using <laughs> QQ, Baidu, yeah. And also, uh, for example, uh, we have five uh, minority um, uh, regions in China. Uh, what are they? So those are all the knowledge you have to review uh, first and learn first, and then we'll uh, give the contest. By the way, do you know Cixi was born uh, in the year of sheep? So it's her but being here this year. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, today's uh, theme is about uh, my Chinese dream, what the Zhongguomeng. So people have been talking about all kinds of dreams. Uh, you probably have heard of the quotes called um, 日有所思, 夜有所梦. What I have been dreaming about at night reflects what I have been thinking in daytime. So uh, many of the students have mentioned about the um, similarities or something and what circumstances that inspires you, your Chinese dream in Canada. Uh, people talk about uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the people are all friendly, both in China and in Canada, and many other uh, things in common between the, uh, the two countries. So uh, if I say in, in, in Chinese, uh, 我说中国和加拿大, uh, 中国和加拿大, uh, so yeah, this is your homework. You can figure out uh, what do I mean after I say that. Um, so uh, I want to give a comment about your speech. Uh, most of the students doing very well. Uh, it doesn't matter you refer to your uh, to your notes or not. Uh, but to deliver a speech, the, the most important thing is you want to have uh, interaction with your audience. So you want to uh, leave something for your audience to think to give them something inspiring, also give them some space to, uh, uh, to reflect uh, during your speech. So the purpose of your speech is not to just recite uh, as fast as I could. Many of the, uh, you probably will see at uh, the uh, winners of today, they, uh, it's not because they uh, recite their speech very fluently, it's because they communicate well with the audience. Uh, have you heard of, um, there's a famous, uh, uh, in China called Fang Qingping. Uh, I love to, uh, he's a Beijing, I'm not sure whether he's a Beijing or anyway, he, uh, he told about many stories. And the way he tell the story is uh, he leave a lot of space uh, for the audience to think. I remember this um, past spring festival, he uh, told us a story about uh, uh, Beijingers when they uh, have to drive, and there are certain days you are not allowed to drive on the road because the limit on your car plate. He then he will just stop for three seconds. 我昨天开出来的 he, He's arguing with a policeman So uh, it's for your reference when you do the future speech uh, How do you keep the audience in mind uh, Then to tell the story um, Anything else I want to comment? 
uh, yeah, uh, the Council Chiao and the Dr. Wei Li and uh, uh, Professor Daniel and uh, Professor Wei and Professor Yang have mentioned about uh, about the importance about language. So uh, we have a saying uh, in uh, in Chinese uh, since this is the year of of Yang Nian. So I want to share you with your idiom about Yang is Wang Yang Bu Lao Wei Shi Wei Wan. Literally means um, uh, you lock the stable the the sheep uh, stable the door of the stable after the sheep was stolen was lost so it means and uh, it's never too late to learn never too late to turn although we all, always encourage uh, students to uh, pick up a language as early as possible but it's never too late to uh, learn a second language to benefit yourself so uh, your excellent and beautiful performance today I'm sure will um, lead you to a Beautiful future in the journey of Chinese study. We say, "A year of the uh, whole year's work uh, depends on the uh, the good start of a spring, and we just passed the uh, spring solstice. Spring fen gang gang guo. We have snow. It doesn't matter. The spring is here. So I wish you all have a uh, wonderful journey in your Chinese study, and look forward to see you next year. Thank you.